see changes. Odd is on breach, the FDP back on Sage. It's going to be awesome to behold. You know, I, I spoke a while ago with, uh, was that a misclick from Mixwell? I spoke a while ago with uh, Mixwell about this whole situation. I was asking, you know, what, uh, when are you guys going to start looking in towards coaching? And they said the whole time they've actually been looking for a coach. They've been looking for an analyst. They just haven't found anybody that quite works with their team. Now, good to see that they have, or at least starting to get that little bit of extra work done. That's a nice fault line to start things off, slowing down what would have been a very quick push to the A site. As we see G2 looking to try and take the pistol with a very one directional or one dimensional approach until they meet that little bit of a barrier. Then they slow it down and they will spread out across the rest of the map to look for a little bit of control. And they're very worried about someone having pushed up in B. Yeah, it did. that was quite a stop. I have to say, like, Mixwell was on 2 HP, he got healed by David. Imagine now playing without a Sage, right? Yes. Mixwell would have been just stopped, stopped in his tracks completely. But um, really interesting approach to the game because I feel like G2 is approaching Oglis the way they seen Oglis play split before. Because we had seen Oglis actually lose most games on split in the qualifiers because of the fact that they were playing both Omen and Brimstone. At the same time, I'm really happy to see that Oglis did actually change and now they play Breach instead of the Brimstone. This actually changes the whole dynamic of this entire map. I, I do wonder, you know, when they take the jet out of the comp, how it's going to affect those faster pushes from G2. But we'll find that out in a little bit, because for now, we're left. looking at G2 pushing into the B site. They've waited actually for the Sage heal to get Mixwell to 100 HP as they enter in towards this site. The cage keeping them back. There's Mixwell. 100 health doesn't matter when the ghost is what meets you. But a quick trade out by Pith puts them right back into the game. A man advantage now to play with. They have no idea about Artis's position. Tucked in towards middle way. Oh, that's a Oh. Great paranoia, but no capitalization. Can't quite connect the shots. They fall back, and look at Artis. He's going to be the one to take this one for them. Now heaven control goes towards G2, and it's so difficult to get out onto the B bomb site when you don't have heaven. You're running through a choke point. There's two players ready to take you down, and Pith is already in with a second, looking for the 3K in the round, and there we go. The confidence on this guy. Like, why would you repeat that without any? You know, me mechanically speaking, even when they play just improvised gameplay, they are just so, well, you know, skilled. Yeah, exactly. They've got the individual skill. This buy round, though, is going to test that. They have weaker weapons dashing out to the B site, even without a jet. As Artis picks up the first, a second as well, going Nuts. over towards the G2 side. They should secure a plant. Patatech swinging out wide, looking for this very advanced position. There's no need to go aggressive at this stage. All the advantages are theirs, but hey, it wouldn't be G2 if they weren't just W keying. And you can see they're just giving Orgless no respect. This, this Three is... to zero. Oh, this is a disaster for Oglis. Oh, Losing a third round really positive for Oglis. No, it's not. And G2 with the ball rolling, with the momentum, is never what you want to see. As you said, though, Lothar, th there has been a little bit of a break. It hasn't benefited G2 in that aspect because they've had to slow things down and they've lost their momentum potentially. This was the buy they were up against. An op was saved over in the previous round. Not bought up. Hoodie's not that crazy. The rest of the team have decided to go in for a low buy. They've got a rolling thunder to work with, as well as two not so relevant at least to bridge the gap in these kind of buys, ulties as well. For Orglis, the objective here, probably a good round would be if they manage to save the Operator and the other four players die so they get their money back. If they can manage to pick up a couple of weapons along the way, they would be delighted. But they're at a disadvantage in every fight except for that one, which they lost. Anyways, the op now on the floor can potentially be retrieved. I don't want Pith to defend it aggressively till his teammates are here, which does mean that it gets picked up, but another player falls. I really love how the execution fall of went through for G2. Piff lurking on A side. They knew they were playing against an op, so they need to take close quarter battles. So the lurk from Piff was actually pivotal for this round. It's actually quite beautiful. So I would like to explain it a little bit more in depth. Because um, Piff used to get that lurk and get that kill on Hoodie at some point. And so you see the respect that they're offering their opponents now, having lost out the previous time of pistols. Oh, boo. He's able to take down Mixwell, having caught him with the paranoia mid-air. The kills are swinging in Orglis's favor for now as they look to get get that spike to the site. It isn't too easy, but David P does have the wall. It goes down for the spawn. Up goes Mixwell. And I thought there was going to be the swing out of heaven, but before he could even get near the window, shut down by Pith. Artis with another. And all of a sudden, man advantage, site control, and spike planted just a moment for G2. The retake, especially difficult, because Artis is a great position. He hasn't quite gone that far uh, since the, the very first time. You know what didn't change, though? 
G2 is always trying to initiate something happening at the beginning of the run. Inish, like, the run starts, something is happening. G2 is breaching somewhere, using the utility to kind of like, start and initiate and the utility from their opponents as well. I, I really like exactly that playstyle. Right. It's so different than from what I've seen from Heretics and Liquid so far. <laughs> and in some cases from G2 in the past, I think you are seeing them shift up their strategy, although it's going to be confident. Spike planted. They're looking to add extra levels to it. Now, speaking of extra things, extra rounds would be great for Orglis to pick up. There's two left to play for, including this one, and they're in a 3v5 retake. Going forward here is risky. I like the paranoia, but nobody's pushed back through. Oh. And so this is the, the round is done and dusted. The question is, how much do they walk out with over on the Orglis side? And I, I couldn't really disagree with that push anymore. You, you cannot do damage to G2's economy. There is one round left after this one, and they've got plenty of cash. The only question was, how easy is it going to be for you to buy? And now even saving that op is going to be difficult. Hoodie in danger, the TP behind him. <laughs> it was a brave play. It was a ballsy one, but Patatech not getting away with it. What he has done, though, is kept Hoodie in this position for his teammates to come up behind him and hopefully take him down. Oh, that actually gone for the eco after what was a very confident first round. I honestly thought they would just force for two or three, but I guess now someone's called the, the focus up and try to actually get something done and when you're orgless in this situation you want to get out of this round with no weapons lost you do not want to if anything you probably want to save a lot of your armor but that ain't always possible although you can see three players look pretty good david p he snuck away on the site for a double beautiful the benefit of the classic up close oh, david p getting tickled up on middle Pith, I mean, up above. I don't know how he survived that. They're full pushing the site. There's no control of heaven over towards G2, and yet Pith gets a kill, gets out of there. That's a miracle that that man is still alive. It doesn't look like he's going to be alive for long, nor are his teammates. This artist finds himself in a 1v3. Heaven control for him. Knows there's a player in towards main, but they now know where he is. He's destroyed the camera. He can only be in one position, up or down, I suppose. There's a little bit of a difference. And the flashbang buys him some time to find the first artist swinging through for a little bit more and, and it would have had to swing be back actually is yep. almost under here yep. is a little bit too high or low he can only have come there from heaven right yeah, so they they should I know that so. yeah there's no way he gets over it otherwise Blinding. they know they've given up the control the dash in by hoodie who's low hp pops the ultimate but he's up, up oh no he's not spotted free kill for hoodie sprays away but can't find the frag operator comes out and hoodie he's left. well he's seen the player but he hasn't shot away, doesn't want to do it just yet as Pith has to save the day, a 1v3 coming in from the defender spawn. He's not being watched, he's crept his way into the elbow. <gasps> this could be huge, the spike goes down, he swings on one, looks for Hoodie. Oh, the up shot is connected, if that misses, the round is under heavy, heavy threat. About show supper, like putting them deep into sights. So this might be an easier round, this, this is probably the best moment for G2 to actually take it. And get the lead, especially with a first blood by Mixwell, but now it's still a trade. Mixwell getting a kill post his own death. <laughs> From the grave, a little bit of martyrdom there, dodging the nades. Panatech, they should know he's not there. The paint shells would have killed him, and he swings through just to confirm it. Hoodie, the last alive in a 1v4. The lead left. for G2 hasn't been challenged yet, and it looks like it might not be. I don't, very few players are going to be popping a rolling thunder and going, well, that ought to scare them. <laughs> like, you're, you're going to go for the trade, the kill. Oh, it's oh huge. My God. The res popped happy. He gets the double. Orglis back in a 3v3, pushing the A side. They've scared G2 into a rotate, so they find the site completely open for business. It's free today. It's a once-in-a-lifetime sale. And Orglis, this one started out in an okay manner for them, but they've started to shut them down. Out goes the operator. This has to pull it back. The kill from Panatech traded immediately. He was a little bit over-eager. I don't know why he's re-peaking before his teammates are there. He was teleporting right now. He was? Yes. The TP, that's heartbreaking. As we end up in the 2v2, G2 want to get back into the site. Hoodie, though, he's repositioned. Oh, and he my catches God. another ultimate popped updraft in. And Mixwell, oh, he dodges the knives. Expert play, but he has to find both kills with an operator. It's that's not it. easy. 11, 11. Hoodie from below, baby. Tied up yet again. Orglis. Just so, you know, helpful right here. I, I wanted to commend Oglis for the previous run when they played so patient because I wanted to say, oh, you know, they, they are aware. They are playing against a lower buy. They want to get a pick when someone has an inferior weapon. But then they went just up close and was 
Oh, man, I, I'm a little bit angry yeah. inside, you know? <laughs> I'm with you there, brother. I'm with you 100%. It was a frustrating round to watch. You could see the problems start to evolve around that 40-second mark and to see it then end in disaster. Now we have map Very control nice. right there. by Orglas. Even though only they have only four players, they got control of events. Uh, they don't know, of course, if someone is rotating left. Be behind them, but still, they're uh, allowed to get on A. Two players from G2 just yeah. waiting for that. Piff with the sneaky beaky play next to his plant, just waiting for someone to drop from heaven. 15 seconds! Wait. They have to go! The spikes dropped, the round's over, you've lost! They, they have they to run! Done. They have to 10 rush! Seconds. 10, 10 seconds! 10 seconds! There's no time! It's, it's literally done! They all get killed in the end, Defend but that is win. two what sloppy over? rounds from Orglis to lose out. that one out. My the Team Liquid special on the oh, last seconds. Said. You can see now the wall cutting off the angle in towards Lamb's hoodie, struggling to open it, but he does manage to deliver onto Patatech. That wall blocking out a lot of vision as Pith takes the TP. Not sure if intentional or not. He got a kill, and I think, I think he, he was so intentional he because he was so low on yeah. HP, he had to just rescue himself. And in a bad position as well, right? That's yeah. the most important Ooh, thing. Oh, what a click! That's ridiculous. I mean, we talk about the value you, you can bring with the right clicks, and it looks like David P is looking to exaggerate that a little bit more. Underline it, I should say. There's a stun. He's looking for one more kill. Knows there's a player towards mid, swinging through. This guy is so low. Both of them are, in fact. But David P has to bait them into an engagement. Destroys the cam straight away, closing in the distance. There's the first. Now goes for the tap yet again. He's gonna fake He's it out. Back. Take your weapon out, David P. The bait is there. The sweet oh David P. God, so David. well handled, expertly from start to finish, and he barely took a lick of damage. That was so well executed, David P. My head is off. Like really, so well played. He actually plenty of cash there in the reserve for G2. If they do end up losing this, I don't know about that. Dash across when Hoodie's already out. Well, Panatek, he survived longer than I thought he would have, but that's a man advantage now for Orglas to play with. And it just keeps getting worse as G2 peek in one at a time. That, that was a very cool play right here that I have to talk about later, but let's focus on what's happening after the plant. That was a cool lurk by Happy, but unfortunately his cross replacement didn't allow to get a kill on a wide peek from Mixwell. Is this gonna happen? Three versus four? They need the, the one entry kill right now. But they all coming from the same side. Cypher's Piff is trying to peek from heaven, but he is smoked off. Yep. Has to walk through the orb. Time is so low at this point, you could almost consider saving with the Vandals they've got in play, but they're going to commit to it fully. Rushing out on the side. Cypher! What the hell did Delizzi. that happen? He was on his cam. He didn't realize that he was actually in an aftershock. There goes the tap on the bomb. They're wanting to swing Pipson. He tries to get them off the spike. He does so successfully. And Boo in with the kill just in time. Can't make it through the TP. The defense feeling it out on what you want to do. But for G2, they almost play their defense like an attack a lot of the time. True, true. I, I, Happy with two lurks. I, nice double kill. At the same time, the fact that, that we've seen Pith get away with a double, taking Hoodie and Pipson down, that puts them in a much, much better position exactly. to fight into this late round. Oh, my God. Weapon. How's he only gotten one? Well, the first one went for the teleporter. Then the second one was kind of jumping around, and he had a Vandal instead of Phantom, so oh, good that spray. spray was a little bit off. There we have the ult from Viper. First time in this half. Still a kill from Happy. Okay, now the DK is, is coming in. Mixwell with just 49 HP. That's it. Well, that'll do it either way, because Boo just smacks him in the head with a... Me thinks the, the recon that's going to go through off of Artis doesn't catch anybody pushing on forward. But they are about to be heavily pressured. The steps are being heard. The players are spotted. The flash had actually slowed Orgulus down a little bit. But as Boo falls, so too does Pipson. The pressure is there. Hoodie is known to be towards long. There's no way he gets away with more than one. And he doesn't even. He was full blind. Again, if you're not used to those graphics, uh, you do get a little bit of a flash. Surviving, excuse me, was what ultimately won them that round and the ability to play off each other. There's a Viper ultimate right now. The pit. Where will it go down? Usually, right, you'll save this till you get on the site to keep to zone those players back because it doesn't reach too far and you have to be safe to activate it because you're, you're obviously in the animation for a little bit. And the second you die, it disappears. So again, not really worth uh, risking it if you're not sure. So uh, site control is what we'll normally see with it. And Orglis looking to move towards A. The wall is still up. The point it, it was actually up for like five seconds, but then it got put down. I think it was just a double fake right now going for A. 
I would love to see a Viper Fit being just used right now to get an entrance on A site. Oh no, it's not going to be used at oh. all though, because Boo's just being shut down. Mixwell on the operator spotted another as happy after being calmed as deleted. Oh <laughs> my peak. god, that shot. Oh, Mixwell, he's going for the full 4K nade through. That's going to force the dash and indeed the damage as he pers pursues his opponent. Hoodie is left. One way set up for A short and then uses the wall to cover B or gets. Uh, showers one way here and then gets a wall on a short to help him out as yep. well it's really smart i, I like that uh, distribution of resources as it were delizzi's opening this one up but he has taken a lot of damage he's forced back to play inside of the elbow but his teammates are starting to creep out onto the site that flash was so good and it delivers no kills in fact it goes the other way g2 are being torn apart on this push and now in a 1v5 oh me oh my orglas they love to do it to G2 on those weaker buys. I mean, that was actually a force. That is actually a prime gaming flawless round. That's not, that's not gonna be a 10. Hey, Jonas, Jonas did say any lineups he hasn't seen before. I bet he hasn't planned that one. That's I can you have seen that in matchmaking. <laughs> well, here we go for Happy up close. Gets challenged and actually taken down by Patatech. The pistols still managing to do some damage. The ultimate keeping them off the spike, but it's already halfway. You've got to get in there, G2, and they just cannot deny it. Although they managed to pick up every kill afterwards. It's a pickup. And with Viper not being played so often, it's acceptable. Here comes the ultimate, though. The Rolling Thunder, great use of the snake bite to keep the players back. Boo falls, but that snake bite is still there, keeping those players at bay. The shot missed by Hoodie, but he has got his ultimate. No dash anymore to really close in the distance, but he can pop that ult if things do get a little bit risky. Pipson. He, he just had an arrow out. He was lining them, up, lining them up, didn't even know the players could push close. Hit, plants down the spike. Now G2 go for the post plants, but here's where things get a little bit risky. David P and Pith are both very low. Not the best of weapons in David P's hands either. Satchel through. Patatech destroyed it though in midair, but they could be, he could be traded on so easily. Not even that. He's taken down initially. Delizzi doing all the damage. Retake. He's winning this round for Sheezy and Orglas putting eight on the board, tying it up making sure that G2 don't win those important rounds. That was such a clean breach of lamps. You know, they, they one player was covering the... They're going to have to play retake because of the utility used up and the fact that they had started to rotate to ace and no one was on site. They've dropped the spike. Delisi gets out alive. This man is Houdini. I've seen him so many times get into fights where he should die, but he gets away. Shock dart to Pith, but it's only tickling him until the second one comes in. That does the damage. That lights him up. Mixwell, he falls in a trade. Pith on the wall bang after low HP. What a spray by happy and then the ultimate popped as well good night and sweet just insanely important absolutely I mean, look if he doesn't get that double kill I, they probably don't win that round but for orgless demotivating heartbreaking they can throw out synonyms all day long but pipson and delizzi well they're looking to do something about it instead of feeling sorry for themselves but g2 answering right back and taking control of the site the spike plant goes down and now it's time to get back on the retake what? How did he? Wait, wait, he wall-banked? Did he? he but it said he wall-banked. I don't know how he did, but he did. I think he was at the entrance of CT. Oh, come on. Bo Boo's just right. So David P pops the rolling thunder, and that was a smart time to do it. Okay, he's got wrecked, so he looks a bit silly, but he popped it thinking, okay, well, they've got the kill. They're going to be pushing forward, and now. And as he pops it, the one dashes back. The other two are already far enough so that when they swing, thinking, oh, we're about to have three players stunned, win the round easy. Full extent, I think it just speaks to the talent and the depth of these teams within Europe. Pipson, oh, he's gone. Taken out by Artis, but the trade is there immediately. Boo! Coming in with two. Those players were weak after running through a snake bite. No support because, of course, no one else wants to go through that bite and take the venom of the snake as G2 have the man... Advant they had the man disadvantage for a second, but Hoodie's been taken down. There's the recon that's actually going to stop Boo from peeking forward without giving away his position. David P pre-fires it, connects the shot. Now G2 have the advantage. They pull this round back, but they need to do a little bit more. David P 
Anchored on the site. He has a teammate covering his crossover. Takes down Happy. Here's the swing from mid from Mixwell. And we go back to an even scoreline. I mean, back shooting through the, through, through the cage was so important to keep Mixwell alive, especially after three people from G2 were being spotted by the ultimate from Sova and by the Cypher Trap. So one player hold to B, but it's going to be the Viper's Pit that's popped to make use of the Stinger if they drop out of Hookah. The push in on the A site as Mixwell cuts away with that frag. Somehow, that's a 3K. I don't believe my eyes. I'm pulling G2 back into a round. This is a very important kills that we're seeing because, in fact, it's a 2v3. Pith is 1 HP. Pipson's in with another, and Pith is still alive. This is so winnable. Pith down on 5 health as a 1v2 to win. Both of his opponents are low, he's got the timing. Boo has no idea that he's being flanked on at this moment. This could be Pith walking away with a double kill. And he gets it, the clutch from- Easy, but he was already taken down. Look, you'll take the kill though, and start to move in towards the site. G2 taking another frag. UI having a, a little bit of a panic attack, but I can tell you right now, G2 are just two kills away from closing this out. They're in a 4v2. Pipson is trying to get the angle, his elbow spotted, but he manages to dodge the bullets. Artis is quick to swing and take the frag. And although the trade is there, this is it. Boo in a 1v3 that he cannot win. And G2 take this one 13 to 10 for a 2 to 0. And I